the eye is the most important organ in your body as far as I'm concerned as your eye doctor. And what we do during a routine eye exam is to be able to look at the front of the eye and through the front of the eye into the back of the eye. It's what we call the retina and the nerve. The difficult, time of the, the difficult part of this whole exam was to be able to get a good enough view. And what we had to do in the past was to dilate your eyes with those stingy drops. Everyone hates them because now your vision is blurry for four hours and you're super light sensitive. So the technology we have today is called the Optos Optimap. And this allows us to take two lasers to scan through your, your eye without dilating. And this will now give us over a 200 degree field of view. This is awesome because it gives us a permanent view that we can use for future comparisons. But most importantly, we're now able to detect early changes from diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, pre-stroke, cancer, retinal tears and detachments, a lot of things that we had a super difficult time finding before. This test, I feel, is so important because it gives us so much more information. It's very inexpensive. It's a $35 fee for this test. It negates the need for your drops. And if we do find anything medically wrong with your eye, we're able to bill your insurance to cover the cost of this test. Picture of a normal, healthy retina. And you can see how wide the field of view is. The other advantage, this allows us to magnify each, each part of the eye. This is the optic nerve going from the eye, back of the eye to the back of your brain. This is an extension of your brain. These are all the blood vessels entering your eye from your heart. Any change in this picture will tell us that there's neurological changes going on or systemic blood vessel changes going on in the future. So this is our reference. This is the center of the vision called the macula. This is where people develop macular degeneration. This to tool allows us to go way out and as far farther out than we can get with any other instrumentation. So this is now out 200 degrees which gives us a lot of information because out in this area is where we see most of the major problems like retinal tears, retinal detachments, and retinal hemorrhages. This picture here allows us to scan into the blood vessels coming right off the heart. And you'll notice in this artery as it comes right into the back of the eye there is a plaque lodged in the bifurcation of this blood vessel. This means there is plaque in the bloodstream which is now causing a risk factor for stroke in the brain. So when we see this, this immediately is referred to the cardiology department for an angiogram to determine how bad the plaques are and if they need to be treated medically by either medicine or surgery. This person needed basically stints put in her heart to make sure that these plaques were taken care of. So we're able to prevent any stroke problems by catching this at an early stage. Thirty percent of the population will have what we call nevi, or basically this is a big freckle or a mole on the back of the eye. And what we watch this for is that these lesions can be a precancer lesion. So the way we can test this, this instrument allows us to go to the back of the retina. You can see where this lesion starts. When we go to the front of the retina where the blood vessels are, the lesion disappears. That's important because if this grows from the back of the retina to the front of the retina, we know this is turning into cancer, which is a, called a malignant melanoma. So this is just a big mole. This next picture demonstrates another lesion, and we have to rule out now, is this just a freckle or a mole, or is this a precancer lesion? So what we do is we go to the back of the retina, and again you'll see this stand out very easily. Now in the past we would watch this and look for growth changes. Now we're able to diagnose this right from the start. We go to the front of the retina and you can see this lesion very visible. That means this is growing vertically, which tells us this is a malignant melanoma that needs to be sent to oncology immediately. Diabetes is probably the one of the most devastating diseases for the eye. And virtually all diabetics with time will have what we call diabetic retinopathy. And this picture demonstrates that problem. You can see all the hemorrhages, the, the serum leaking out called exudates. This person has a significant amount of diabetic retinopathy and they did not know they were diabetic. So we were able to send them in. Uh, the, 
the blood sugar was well under, way out of control, he was put on medication, blood sugar became better, and a lot of these hemorrhages started to reabsorb. But again, we need to follow that very closely. And the best way is with this de device, because this allows us to look right at the blood vessel layer, and we can now see little dilations of these hemorrhages before they become evident with the naked eye. One of the most missed diagnoses in eye care is what we call a retinal tear, which leads to retinal detachments. The reason these are so difficult to see is they virtually never occur in the center of the back of the eye. They always occur out in the periphery, and the reason that, it, that happens is the peripheral retina is the thinnest part of the retina. It's more apt to tear or break. And this demonstrates right here what we call a retinal tear that is now leaking fluid in it and is starting to detach. This needs to be treated right away because I'll show you a picture in the next slide where the tear continued to rip. You can see it here. And then it starts to tear off just like a piece of wallpaper. This is what we call a retinal detachment from a retinal tear. This is serious because this will continue on right down to the vision. This is where the vision comes from and we do not want this getting any closer. This is a picture of a retinal tear that was not treated quickly enough that led to a full retinal detachment. This is now covering their, the, the entire back of the eye, so this person had no vision whatsoever. This required immediate surgery. And because it had been, it was so significant, it was not able to uh, get back to a full normal vision again. This is what we call a retinal detachment. The last picture we'll show you is a picture of macular degeneration. The macula is the center of the vision. That's where your vision comes from. The optic nerve is here. That's what transmits the, the vision back to the brain. And these are all the blood vessels that nourish the retina. And you can see here where the retina now is leaking. It's got fluid. It's got hemorrhage. This is what we call wet macular degeneration. This person has lost a significant amount of your vision and needs immediate treatment.